Hello, preschoolers. Um, today, I'm going to read Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. So we've read this book previously in the classroom, I believe, and I know we've read it a couple of times on Zoom. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and read this book now because um, in the start of the new year, we're going to be doing the clothing study. What? And this book is kind of like our precursor to that. Um, and I have, just like in your kit, if you've picked it up, there's yours is yellow because his jacket is wet. Yellow. Miss Amanda just drew one really quick. I have a jacket here and I have my four groovy buttons and I'm going to kind of show you what I mean by follow along with the book. So um, I'm going to hold up the book and then uh, sh um, tilt my camera so that you can see what I'm doing down here um, as we go along. So let's get started. So here's our cover. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. And it's written by Eric Litwin and artist is by James Dean. He's the creator of Pete the Cat. So usually James Dean does the writing and the drawing, but this time he let, um, I guess, a friend of his help write the words. Pete the Cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang a song. So I'm gonna put my buttons. Now mine aren't super colorful because you use what you got. But there's my four buttons. Have yours like that too if you're following along. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. Let's get over just a smidge so you can see the book. Here we go. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. See the number four up there? Oh no! One of his buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? I'm gonna show you mine. How many buttons are left on my shirt? One. Two, three. Let's see if we're right. Three. Four minus one equals three. One, two, three. Three. Groovy. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop! Oh no! Another, another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? We had three. Now we have one, two. Hmm, let's see if we're right. Two. Three minus one equals two. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. My buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Oh no, another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left on Pete's jacket today? Let's see, we had two, now we have one. Let's see. One. Two minus one equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song, my button, my button, my one groovy button, my button, my button, my one groovy button. So it's not buttons with an S, it's button because there's only one. The S makes it more than one. Pop! Oh no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left on Pete's jacket today? Zero. One minus one equals zero. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. 
He looked down at his buttonless shirt, and what do you think he saw? His belly button. He kept on singing his song. Oh, it's all good. My button, my button, still have my belly button. My button, my button, still have my belly button. I guess it simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no, we keep on singing. Buttons come and buttons go. So Pete the cat lost all his buttons, but he kept the most important one, his belly button. Um, so yes, this book is really fun and I love Pete the cat. It's another series that I do love. It ranks up there with Pig and Elephant and the Pigeon. Um, but that's a great book to kind of start off like kind of what we're doing with the clothing study. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you followed along with your buttons and your jacket. Um, to uh, do this again, I would suggest uh, to read the book maybe one more time and then have your child uh, tell you the story by the use of their jacket and their buttons and see how they tell the story because it's kind of fun. And I would love to know if they tell you the story because uh, it's great for, um, it's a starting point for reading. Uh, it's great for vocabulary. It's great for um, getting them to use their, their thinking brain to think you know, beyond just the pictures. Um, so yeah, I would love to know if you try that and let me know if you have fun. Bye, preschoolers. See you later.